So what we have here is a 2 kilogram bread box placed on a frictionless incline of 40 degrees and it is connected by a cord to a spring that has a K value of 120 Newton per meter. Now the box is released from rest when the spring is unstretched or in relaxed position. And the questions are what is the speed of the box when it has moved 10 cm down the incline? B is how far down the incline from its point of release does the box slide before momentarily stopping? And C what are the magnitude and direction of the box's acceleration at the instant the box momentarily stops? So basically the idea here is that the box slides down and due to the downward force it pulls the spring till it comes to a stop and at this point the box experiences the reverse pull from the stretch spring. So what we will do is to take the original height of the box to be y is equal to 0 or this becomes a reference level. And then in general the height of the box when the box is moved let us say a distance d downhill is y is equal to minus d sin 40. And that is plane trigonometry here that is sin 40 is equal to this side upon this side and that is how we get this expression. So now using the energy conservation principle we have kinetic energy initial plus total potential energy initial is equal to kinetic energy final plus potential energy final. So initially it is at a reference level that is y is equal to 0 so the potential energy is 0 and also it is stationary so the kinetic energy is 0 as well. Also note that the spring is unstretched so elastic potential energy is also 0. However when it goes down by distance d it has certain kinetic energy and let us say it is half mv square and the potential energy manifests in two ways. One the box has a certain gravitational potential energy and second the spring has certain elastic potential energy because it has got pulled by a distance d and here d is equal to 0 0.1 meter. So we have 0 is equal to half into 2 v square plus 2 into 9.8 into minus 0 0.1 into sin 40 plus half into 120 into 0 0.1 square. And remember since this level is 0 any level below this will be negative hence a minus sign here. And that gives v is equal to 0 0.81 meters per second. Now for part b we look for a value of d not equal to 0 such that the kinetic energy is 0. So we use the same equation again and write it for this point and a point where the spring is stretched to the fullest such that the box comes to a stop or that gives us 0 is equal to mg into minus d sin 40 plus half kd square or mg d sin 40 is equal to half kd square or 2 into 9.8 into sin 40 is equal to half into 120 times d and when you solve for d what you find is d is equal to 0 0.21 meters. Now to solve c we realize the fact that the box is getting pulled up due to the stretch spring and this force has a magnitude of kx and here x is this value of d or 0 0.21 meter. So this force equals 25.2 newtons. And the downhill force is a component of gravity or mg sin 40 which equals 12.6 newtons. Thus the net force on the box is 25.2 minus 12.6 newtons that equals 12.6 newtons uphill. So we get acceleration A is equal to F upon M which equals 12.6 newtons upon 2 kilograms that equals 6.3 meters per second square and this acceleration is up the incline which is the answer to part D.